So Stephen, we have an opportunity. Not only have you taken me out through the hills, um, <laughs> For the hills. The, not, not just the Australian the hills, hills. Not, not the West Australian Perth California hills. California hills. Across the world. Across the world. For this which, moment. Which I am loving. I love it. I love riding. love doing it all. Now we get to take this opportunity to literally walk through the hills <laughs> and talk about the past two years, interview each other, ask oh, some questions and get some answers that we may have not heard. And may we might not even have told each other. Exactly. And that's what's so important about having a, a, an interview that is just going to be completely like transparent and kind of... You know, a little vulnerable in the in the words of the, uh, in the Bachelor. In the words of the Bachelor. Again. Never watching that show. I want you to be vulnerable, with, yeah. vulnerable with me, Josh. You got it, bro. It's me, Clayton, with my gigantic football hands. <laughs> Did you, during that time, just after Tara Tata, just after coming back home, did you ever feel stuck, like mentally, also physically, yeah. literally cannot yeah. leave Australia? How did, that, how did that process feel? How did it all feel? Oh, you know, dude. Everyone had their own sort of things going on, but how yeah. did you feel about it? It definitely takes a toll being like oh, stuck, stuck in Perth. I remember witnessing it firsthand. Like we all, everyone did, you know, like well, not just on you, but like everyone, you know, and that's the thing, right? Like when you see, Especially for us, right? Like we, we see a, a lot behind the veil of each other. We see things that most people don't even like social media or whatever. Yeah. We tend to experience a lot more than within each other than what most people do. And yeah, I could see it, man. I could see it in like, not just not being able to get to Los Angeles, but for all of us feeling like that stranglehold of creativity yeah. is something that's really hard to push through. Yeah. Because if you can't express yourself, that's like putting a, putting a lid on an ex a bottle that's bound to explode you know yeah. we definitely had those moments trying to write that album in six weeks and the pressure and the stress and the yeah. anxiety of it like how did you because obviously we all experienced it in certain ways but how did you like how did you felt like you managed some of those moments you know? it was it's pretty overwhelming man like yeah like everyone it's the, nuts the, the funny thing is that the start when we we're writing it didn't feel like we were we were stuck there because it was like oh we'll be we'll be gone in six weeks and yeah, then, that, was, that was like the light at the end yeah. of the tunnel. Yeah, the, light, <laughs> the and, light at the end of the tunnel. I was, yeah. That's what I was literally about to say. It, the, the hard bit came when that light at the end of the tunnel kept on getting pushed and further, back. And further, further and further, further back. Away. Oh, like it's going to be like, you know, a festival at the end of this year that we're aiming for. Yeah. A tour at the end of this year. A tour at the start of next year. That and like, it's when that that light at the end of the tunnel yeah. started getting pushed further and further back. Dude. That's when you're like, I definitely personally had to start dealing with you know that pressure differently um, no i feel that man i feel that in so many ways especially that that light at the end of the tunnel thing man that was like having like being like a rat in a maze and having the cheese constantly pulled like, yeah. obviously that's a bit of a different way to describe it but you know like even tours getting cancelled yeah um that was a big one for me because like live shows like and for all of us are just such a big part of like what inspires like this band as well and yeah. when people like oh, that's a big, that's a big thing for you that's a, that's oh, it's, a really it's big. one of the biggest man like i love it i love it it's just it's just it's home you know it's home for all of us in a way but like in a in a, in a strange sense when that was sort of taken away other things that weren't good for my life would fill that hole but couldn't fill it in the way that like performing live could yeah not just like performing music that means something to us and being with you know my closest friends in in a space that's where we're really harnessing our creativity and having other people be a part of that there's nothing that can really replicate that yeah and um you know and that's what's so exciting now is being able to realize that that light at the end of the tunnel we're not necessarily relying on it yeah. but it's actually there we're making and, it uh, yeah we're so making it's it it's like it's coming back and it's like looking back on it now yeah. it's like feeling a little more in control yeah and so much more grateful yeah. So much more grateful for those shows and all of our fans and everything.